Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day, whatever that may bring for you. Um, I was reading um, some in the book of Isaiah in chapter 26. You'll find the scripture in verse 3 um, that says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. And it's talking about putting your faith and your hope and your trust in God, Jehovah. I, I find that there are many people um, that I know, many people that I come in contact with on a daily basis who are depressed or discouraged uh, because of the illness that maybe they face in their body. But, uh, you know, even this time of year, the, the darkness comes at a different hour um, people feel pressure of maybe a holiday season, which is supposed to be and should be um, a joyous time of year. But uh, speaking with someone today who just lost their father last week, it's going to be a difficult time of year for them as well. So there are a lot of things uh, this time of year that can bring discouragement. But uh, my prayer for you today is, is that you will keep your eyes and your ears uh, posted to things that would encourage you, give you help, give you hope, give you strength uh, today. You know, if you if you feed your mind with things that will bring discouragement, uh, it won't be long and you will be discouraged. I remember uh, somebody saying to me one time that um, they did all right playing music, and singing for God, but if they got sidetracked, and this was a professional musician, so but I find that if I get myself sidetracked with singing, drinking songs, or old music like that, he said, it works on my mind to the point where it wants to drag me back into the lifestyle. Now, you can think I'm picking on music, but I'm just saying anything that would bring you discouragement it, it it makes perfect sense to stay away from that no matter what it is um i know music is very powerful very powerful to me i don't know what you think about it but it's very powerful to me i have enjoyed music my whole life and uh, i i at times am very careful about what i listen to um, because just the thought process can drag me down um, I wrote this song in 2006. They call it today a mental illness or whatever, but people struggle with depression or discouragement. And, and, and um, of course, there have been people in my family that have went through um, feeling as if maybe no one cared for them. And maybe you feel that way today. And my prayer is that God will encourage you. Uh, he will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on Him. <laughs> Started out this morning just like every other day, not knowing what was coming or the trouble I would face. Today's just another day I'll go down in defeat if I have to live without the peace that your love gives to me. So help me, Lord, to know you are all I need. If I'm up here on this mountain or down there on my knees, give me strength to face just one more day. And help me, Lord, to see your love has set me free. I've been analyzed and criticized for the things that I've gone through. Always looking for the answers, but never once looking to you. Then one night I saw your light shining up above, giving me direction and feeling me with love. So help me, Lord. If I'm up here on this mountain or down there on my knees, give me strength to face. 
grace just one more day and help me Lord to see your love has set me free you give me peace that I've never known I couldn't find it on my own another day and I don't have to be alone so help me Lord to know you are all I need if I'm up there on that mountain or down here on my knees give me strength to face just one more day Help me, Lord, to see your love has set me free. Your love has set me free. Lord, I pray for those folks today, and I know they're are people all over um, this world today that for one reason or another feel helpless and hopeless and maybe feel like nobody cares. But God, I pray today that you will send somebody to them and help them to know that they are loved, that they are cared for, no matter who they are, what it is they've been through, God, that you love them and you sent your only son to die for them, to give them hope, to give them life. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Friday.